All right, RC guys, girls, <clears throat> real quick um, before I put this portion away. Um, when you're installing the boom clamps, just be careful. I didn't catch it on the first time through, but I went back and read. Um, they actually want you to lightly tighten the clamps to the actual frame. Put the boom in, tighten it down to where it can still rotate. With these tight, kind of, I guess it's to align the clamps with the boom. And then uh, go ahead and at that point tighten the, uh, the two bolts per clamp to hold them to the frame. Uh, and then after that, uh, you, know, you pull the boom back out. Um, something I noticed um, inside the clamps were the uh, thread. Oh, sorry about that. The uh, holes that they drill right here for the mounting screws that go all the way through, and it can be kind of burry or have little burrs where the uh, threads were made on the inside. So I took some real some sandpaper and just hit it with some sandpaper there and knocked off the uh, little burrs uh, on both clamps so that uh, allowed the um, tail boom to go in nice uh, nice and smooth and it rotated even with these pretty much you know not fully clamped just seated that way there was no uh, so the clamps themselves weren't actually allowed to to cant or anything when you tighten them down but uh, the next part is uh, basically the uh, top half which would be kind of like your um, servo mounting area and the swash plate and all that stuff so I'll get to it just wanted to do a quick one on that one before moving on uh, I also went ahead and put this bottom gear on uh, which is uh, one of the last things you do simple that's a um, four millimeter bolt with a lock nut on it uh, there is no uh, spacer in here. It's just beveled that way on the gear itself. The only spacer is underneath here. Uh, this has some play in it. Uh, I'm guessing that this is going to go into some kind of block or something. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how that goes once it's in. But uh, you guys take it easy. I'll get back to it.